So I wanted to do a video today about uh, kind of what I've been experiencing in this summer weather of 90 degrees and 80% humidity here in Iowa. Um, I've noticed I've had some problems after I've ran for 30 minutes or so where I seem to lose a little bit of power. And uh, it's really noticeable with this big lopy cam I got in here. But what's interesting is I never get over 160 degrees really. So maybe 170 if I'm sitting for a long time in one place, but it really never gets too hot. Now what I've noticed when I open my hood, aside from a big plume of hot air hitting me, is that my, uh, my air cleaner there is blazing hot. So anyway, I started uh, doing some research on um, the effects of air temperature, because obviously that air cleaner is at pretty much the highest point in the engine bay of anything, so, and hot air rises, so it's pretty darn hot in there. And uh, basically what I've found is a, uh, you know, and naturally your air temperature directly affects your power, and the colder the air, the denser it is, and the more oxygen that actually enters per, per you know, little bit of air that you get in. So anyway, you obviously want the coldest air you can possibly get, but I never realized it had this much of a bearing when I found some numbers on it. And what I found is that basically a seven and a half degree change in air temperature causes a 1% horsepower change, but, you know, and that doesn't sound like a lot, but imagine that it's uh, 180 degrees inside your engine bay, and that's pretty conservative and imagine that it's uh, 90 degrees outside. Well, that's about a 12.5% change in horsepower. So, so basically, that would be, say you have 300 horsepower, that would drop you to somewhere around 265. So, and this would be obvious. Anyone who's ever ran without a hood and then installed a hood and it got worse, you know, that'd be the telltale sign. Or if, or if it's running kind of poor, and you open your hood and kind of rev it out and blow the blow the mixture out and get a new mixture in there. You know, at least with me, after I open the hood and do all that, it seems to actually run better for a while until it gets hot in there again. So it's really trapping the heat. So I'm going to look into uh, running a snorkel deal, and I deleted my uh, windshield wa or window washer deal, so I might run a snorkel right into there, and that's right to the outside. But, uh, you know, that kind of hurts the classic look a bit. But I found that also people who, uh, you know, there's a lot of myths out there, and they run the numbers on what carburetor to run. I'm not going to go through those numbers right now. But basically they always suggest a lot smaller carburetor than people run. So I think the math <clears throat> on this engine is around a 500-sized carburetor, and I got a 650 on it. But what I've found through a, um, a little bit of mathematical work there, I found that actually an air cleaner restricts airflow at least 100 CFM, if not more. And especially when it's real hot, you know, the restriction of air and a hot air cleaner, it's just not good. So anyway, that's why people can actually manage to run around with bigger carburetors. And uh, I have noticed that if I take my air cleaner off and run, I have to set my carburetor up differently because it's that much of a change. So it does play a pretty big bearing. But anyway, I just wanted to make a note of the air temperature in relation to the inside of the engine bay and the outside. You know, just a conservative 180 degrees versus 90 degrees outside is a you know, 12.5% horsepower change, and on 300 horsepower, that's like 40 horsepower. So you would lose that if that if, if you could get that 90-degree air into your carburetor versus using that 180-degree air. And that's why cars, you know, everyone's at, at the drag strip, they're like, oh, it ran better at night because it's cooler. Well, that's why they run better. It's all the, uh, the intake air charge. And I believe there's a few kits that are made out there to, uh, like, methanol. Or it's like they use, like, window washer injection. I think Snow Performance, there we go, 
they make some kits that are supposed to cool your intake charge. But anyway, that's the, that's the idea behind all that. And that's why most cars today, they run kind of a snorkel setup out into a fender or out of the engine bay. They just don't want to be in the engine bay at all costs. So, or at least away from the heat and close to the incoming air. So I wanted to make a note of that because it's real interesting actually when you run the numbers on how important it is. So I hope, I hope you guys found this interesting. I'll, uh, I'll post the rest of my findings in my description. So anyway, there you go.